Guys, all the cars that you see in these videos are for sale on my website, www.woodsandbarclay.com. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are detailing the 1985 Cali Wagon. And we're over here at Scott's shop. Let's go in and check it out and see what's going on. All right, I see, uh, I see Scott already has the, we take the logos or the emblems off the back so we can clean underneath them because, you know, they never get cleaned underneath. They've been on there for 40 years. And uh, see, he's already got the floor mats out. And obviously, it's all taped off. And he is starting the compounding, buffing, and polishing process. This is a uh, paint correction. Oh, and he's using a, uh, a Trizact. That's a 3M product. And guys, this is a uh, this is a single stage paint. That's why you see it's blue on clear coat cars. It would be it would not be paint color. It would be the clear coat. And of course, everything's taped off because you don't want to you don't want to get this stuff on anything, especially up here. So let's talk to Scott and uh, see what the process is he's doing on this vehicle. I'm doing just chipper. <laughs> so, Scott, what is the process? I see you have the wool pad here. Uh, you've already got some compound. I washed the vehicle, brought it in here, clayed the vehicle. Clayed it. And then after I clayed it, I wiped it down again. And then after you do that, this vehicle had some scratches in the hood and stuff. So I, I had to take it down a little bit, so I took it down with uh, 1,000 grit dry Okay. Uh, on a low RPM. And then after I did that, I went to uh, 3,000 Trizac wet. 3,000 wet. Yeah, it, that gets out a lot of the marks that you get from the heavier paper. Because this is original paint. It's, it's 40 years old. And it's single stage. I love single stage. Good. <laughs> Single stage, you can you, you can keep that in your mind. <laughs> you can correct it. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, basically he's doing some sanding and compounding to get any kind of scratches out of the original paint. Now, the, the, if all goes correctly, it should come out like glass. Awesome. So can't wait to see this. And now this is the wool pad. I see you have this some is a cutting pad. Okay. This, so so this after is what the what you do to do your initial cut. Then I switched to a different machine and a different pad with a finer compound to get out any marks, potential squirrel marks. So like a final polishing. Well, you do that and then you do another step after that. So it, this can, is like a, it can be up to four steps. Yeah, this is like a four step. And then there's wax at the end, so that's technically five. Yeah. So this is like a five stage paint correction. It's not for the... Uh, not for the faint, faint of heart. Not for the faint of heart. Yeah, no. this is... Uh, Guys, this is how you do it when you've been doing this for 30 years. <laughs> so here we go, let's check out his pad here. Oh wow, you can already see the paint coming out nice under here. And you see all the little uh, pieces of wool fiber that get slung off during this process. You got to be careful with the rotaries too, guys, because you can you can burn through areas like this right here where there's a, a change in. Keep in mind, this is over 40 years of experience. So there are a lot of people out there that come in and they want a job, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I can use the speed. How long have you been detailing? About two years." I'm like, yeah, "No, <laughs> not happening. Not here." I'll see if I can get it to a point where you can see. <laughs> oh, wow. And that's without polishing. Oh, yeah, it's like a glass mirror finish. That's what we're going for here. Yeah, I mean, you can see every detail in the ceiling. Yeah, that's amazing, man. <laughs> it's beautiful. See, so, yeah. The pigment comes off on me, on the pad. And guys, you got to know what you're doing because you only want to take off a very, very small amount of that original paint in order to get to the the really good paint. 
Um, and that's where the experience comes in, knowing how to do that. So obviously, Scott has to do the entire car to get a you know show car finish. So that's going to take a while, and uh, we will come back uh, tomorrow. This is probably a two-day process. So I'll come back tomorrow, and we'll look at the final, uh, the final product. All right, well, Scott's working on the paint. I've removed the uh, front license plate holder, and I'm going to get under here. Uh, this is bleach white, and I've got some uh, uh, 4 aught steel wool and a rag. And I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning under the bumper and the front valance under here. So let's go ahead and start cleaning that up. And bleach white works uh, awesome for this. And then you can just take your, your steel wool on the uh, chrome bumper. And as long as it's 4 aught it doesn't uh, hurt anything. So we'll do a little small section here. Then I'll wipe it off and show you guys. See how nice it makes it come out? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing all under here and, and, and then up under the bumper area and get that all cleaned up really nice. Okay, you can already see where I've gotten right under here. See how nice that came out? You see still the you still see the factory primer that was sprayed here that goes up into the blue paint. Uh, now I need to get the underside of the bumper under here. Okay guys, I'm done. Uh, I'm done cleaning under here. We've got everything pretty clean. Next, uh, and under the bumper, we've got that uh, clean. Now I wanna go under here uh, with some polish and polish under the bumper and all the chrome uh, up here. And here we go, this is uh, just Meguiar's polish. Uh, works really good on the, uh, on the chrome uh, Mercedes bumpers. So we'll just put a little bit down on our polishing pad. and get it polished on there real good and then wipe it off. Okay, kind of hard to record as I'm doing this, guys, but we're just gonna rub this polish in here real good all along the bottom of the bumper and top of the bumper, and then we'll wipe that off. All right, we have the uh, polish applied everywhere, including, uh, including up under the bumper. So, We'll let that dry for a minute and then we're going to wipe it off with a biker fiber and it should be extremely nice. Okay, done polishing the bumper. You can see the reflection of the headlights came out very, very good. And I was able to get it to clean up really good underneath here too. Here we go. Under the bumper came out very nice also. So next, uh, now that I'm done with polishing, I want to go ahead and clean up all the black uh, trim pieces. Okay, here are the license plate holders, and I've just cleaned them up. I'm refinishing them. That's the rear, and that's the front. I'm going to clean these up, refinish them before putting them back on the car. All right, Scott is uh, exhausted. No, he's, he's almost done doing the wool pad uh, on the hood. I just finished up the bumper. And uh, got a ways to go, guys, but we're getting there slowly but surely. And of course, this all has to be wiped down and then polished and then waxed. You can see there's still a lot of compound on there. <laughs> Scott, let me see your face. You got blue all over your face. <laughs> what happens when you hang around with Smurfs? All right, Scott is done with like, you can see the line right there, like this half of the hood. And guys, that original paint came out absolutely incredible. Look at that. That's the ceiling, the garage door above us. Absolutely fantastic. 
Okay, he's also finished this section of the roof here. Let me go around here where the sunlight is not shining. See if I can get a better shot. Yeah, look at that. Scott, that came out amazing, man. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, we're back here at the rear hatch area. And you can see I have all of the rear hatch trim uh, disassembled. So we can pull that off. Uh, and what we did, we got access to the rear Mercedes emblem in order to remove it and clean behind it. Um, here we go. There we go. We want to clean up the dirt behind there. We've already cleaned behind uh, the badges here and the turbo diesel badge here and reassembled those. Now we're going to go ahead and clean that up and then I will reassemble all of these parts. All right, we have it all cleaned up uh, under where the logo was and also uh, we cleaned up under the tag bracket here. I'm going to put that back on and Scott also um, waxed and cleaned <laughs> underneath all these trim pieces. Um, I mean, you're never going to see that again, but at least it's clean now. So let me go ahead and reassemble our Mercedes logo back on the car. Okay, so what we're doing now, um, Scott has his, I'm not sure what he blends in here. It's like a rubber restoration coating and it, it, uh, it absorbs into the rubber pieces. He does it on all the trim seals and up on the gaskets and it just keeps it real soft and in good condition because all the gaskets on this car are beautiful so he's applying that stuff onto every piece of rubber <clears throat> and it kind of soaks in there absorbs it and uh, really makes it come out beautiful here we go and you see how nice it it looks down here so he's knocking that out on all the uh, doors and, and gaskets all right done cleaning all back here in the back uh, guys look at that that's the original blue carpet with zero fade look how amazing that looks that means the car was never stored outside it just it looks incredible and i have the back all reassembled i want to vacuum up here a little bit on this carpet we have all this back together and i have also reinstalled i've reinstalled the rear uh, bracket i refinished the license plate bracket and we have our Mercedes emblem back on the car so we're getting close Scott's uh, doing some more interior cleaning and uh, we should be finishing up a little later all right I got the front refinished license plate holder attached and it looks super nice and Scott's actually done on the exterior He's just finishing up some seals over there. Uh, guys, look how this came out. It is absolutely remarkable. There's the, there's the ceiling. Look at that. Scott never ceases to impress. Yeah, this... Uh, this thing is amazing. I'll show it all to you guys in the walk around video, of course. It just came out absolutely incredible. Anyway, we're going to get back to it. Got a few more odds and ends to do, but uh, we'll be done shortly.